Does that not just sound like something that just hooks you in? The beautiful ones, what are they? Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kay. I tried filming this video yesterday and I realized I have never introduced myself on this channel. I have 20 plus videos and not once have I ever said what my name was. But yesterday, I tried filming this exact same video, which is why I have a package behind me that is open. The city just woke up all of a sudden the moment I turned on the camera. So I'm refilming it and that is what today is. I have two packages, one I opened. I have six other books here that I'm going to be sharing with you. I am aware that it hasn't been that long since I last did a book haul video. I said in that video that it was going to be months before you see another book haul. Then what? Less than a month. And I already have 11 books to share. I could wait to film this video, but I just don't want to. Honestly, I am not going to make any promises where I tell you I won't buy books anymore because we all know those are lies. I am super excited to be filming today's video because there are several things that are new on my channel. Behind me, you see that I have these two cute bookends which I'm going to just pick up and show you. These are Astronaut Bookends by Dravano. They're not too heavy, but they're heavy enough where they're able to hold your books. These are so cute, oh my god. These are Dravano's Astronaut Bookends. I will link their website down below, you can choose. These are just one of the options. They have cats, frogs, skulls, in time for Halloween. If you are interested in these bookends, you can visit the Drivano website down below. I will link their Amazon website down below. You can also use the code KREADS10, so KREADS10 for 10% off your purchase. I'm going to just put these back here. I mean, if you don't want to use these as bookends, they kind of make good decorations. <laughs> They're just standing there and looking all cute. So don't worry, I will link it down below if you are interested in these bookends along with the 10% off your purchase. Go check them out if you want to. There's two more things. I have a book here that was sent to me by the author herself. There are also four books today that I did not buy from Amazon. So that is something new on this channel because usually a lot of my books or almost all of my books are from that company. I bought four books from bookstores. And I'm so excited to share those with you. But before we do get into those books, I want to share with you this book right here. And it's titled Villanos. And it's by Soraya Rose. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. This was actually sent to me by the author herself. This is her debut novel. And from what I've read, this is about vampires. This is a young adult novel that is a mixture between fantasy and dystopian. And it's also the first of three books. Um, I just closed my windows and that might mean that by the end of this video, I will be sweating. Along with the book, she sent me a note and I'm just gonna read it without being interrupted. She wrote, Hello Kay, thanks Sam so much for your time. I hope you enjoy reading my book as much as I enjoyed creating the characters and story. Love, X Rose. This is the first book that I own that is going to be about vampires. Thank you. The next one I'm going to show you is this one that I got from Amazon. This is The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Yet another series that I completed buying on this channel without having read a single book i can't even tell you the character names because i don't know this is the second book i don't think i mentioned it but this is part of the inheritance games series um then we're gonna move on to the four books that i bought from bookstores and i'm gonna go with the ones that i bought first this is while we were dating by jasmine guillory this is the second book that I own from this author. I bought this book for $7 from the bookstore. It's not because the bookstore I went to is secondhand or anything like that. It's just they have a price in the back that just said $7 and it's because the company that published this book 
set this price. It's originally supposed to be 16, but I bought it for seven. That is such a steal. Anyways, this is the book. The third book, on the same day that I bought the While We Were Dating, I got The Fixer Upper by Lauren Forsyth. I got this one because when I saw the back, I read these words, childhood best friend and first love. Then Abby Jimenez wrote, sweet childhood friends, two enemies, two lovers. We love to see these tropes come into play because one thing I love is friends to lovers, especially childhood friends to lovers. Then you're going to throw in enemies in there. What went down? What happened? I need to read it. It's also a romantic comedy. Now, the next two books I actually bought yesterday. And yesterday, I was feeling very adventurous and different. Instead of picking up books that was in the romance section, I picked these two up at the sci-fi slash fantasy slash mystery section. Who am I and what have I done to Kay? I'm just going to show you. This is The Age of Witches by Louisa Morgan. When I read the back, I immediately picked it up. Witches are very fascinating to me. This is fantasy, obviously, from the title, but I also know that there is romance in this, which is why I picked it up. I know I still want to buy books with romance in it. I just think it's a big leap that I'm buying a book where romance isn't the central theme. I was feeling like, let romance take a back seat and let's read about books where there's fantasy elements, adventure elements, um, what else is there? Mystery. On the back in yellow font, this is what it says. In Gilded Age, New York. A centuries-long clash between two magical families ignites when a young witch must choose between love and loyalty, power and ambition. So much is happening in this book and I'm super excited. I want to read this in October, so let's just hope that I pick this up next month. They're really doing it. Look at them. They're doing all the work for me. The last book that I picked up from the bookstore, and it's also one that I surprised myself even because, look, these books that I bought from the bookstore, I obviously double check the price on Amazon to make sure I am not overpaying for certain books. Yes, I'm buying books and that is spending money, but I would also love to save on some percent if I can. These books, when I compare the prices to Amazon, I will be spending the same amount. This one that I'm holding right now, I'm actually spending more on because the moment I read the synopsis, I'm like, I want this in my hands right now. Even though I am not going to read it within the month or whenever, maybe, who knows? Because I'm surprising myself now that I'm buying these books. The price on Amazon is not that, m it's not that much more than the price. It's not that the bookstore price for this book was more than $5, but still I did pay more in the bookstore to buy this book than I would on Amazon. But look at this. This is called The Beautiful Ones by Silvia Moreno Garcia. The moment that I read the synopsis, I there was something about this book that just stood out to me and made me want to get my hands on it. This is the first Oh my <laughs> I'm trying to talk about this book the first line on the synopsis let me tell you they are the beautiful ones does that not just sound like something that just hooks you in the beautiful ones what are they I mean she is beautiful the first part of the synopsis I imagined it to be something similar to Bridgerton and then we got to the part where it says the main female character, Nina, struggled to control her telekinesis. So there is a magical Bridgerton element to it. There's also romance in this. I know. Okay, I will buy books where romance is a theme, okay? I mean, the moment you add romance genre into a book, it just makes me want to buy it more. And I got it. Who cares that I paid extra in the bookstore for this book? It doesn't matter. 
the condition is pretty good who knows if the one that i buy from amazon is going to be in good condition based on the history of the books that i've gotten from them I can tell this book is going to be super good. I don't know why, but I can feel it. The way that I gravitated toward this book, the way it just called out to me, there has to be some reason behind it. And I'm hoping that this will impress me. I wanna be so disappointed if it doesn't. Please let my first impression be a lasting impression in a good way. Look at my two astronauts holding up my books. They're working so hard. I need to name them. Now we're moving on to the two packages. So the one that I already opened because to the first package that I already have opened with my hand in there right now. The two books um, from Abby Jimenez. This is Part of Your World and this is the Happy Ever After playlist. These two books are a part of the Friend Zone series, which I have the Friend Zone. Again, this is another series that I completed. These are standalones. I'm pretty sure these are standalones, but still, it's a complete series that I own. The Friend Zone is somewhere on my bookshelf. I don't want to take it out right now. It's probably on the bottom and I don't want to go find it. So yeah, these two books, Part of Your World and The Happy Ever After playlist. This one I have seen around quite a lot and when I first saw it, it was in Barnes & Nobles. It just did not make me want to buy it because of the title. The title of this book is Part of Your World, which is the title of a song in The Little Mermaid. Ariel is my favorite Disney princess, if you did not already know. Oh, I just want to you. Can you tell who my favorite princess is just from this? I'm gonna put her. You can't even see her. Um, we'll see parts of her. I need coffee because the sounds from outside, even though I close my window, is driving me insane. Much better. When I first saw this title, it reminded me of The Little Mermaid. There's something about song titles being titles of books that just don't. In I don't like it. I mean, I don't jump to it because it's. It's just weird. I don't know. There's something that puts me off about it, which is why I do not want to get this book. But then people on Instagram started posting quotes. I don't remember what the quotes were about. Thank goodness my memory isn't that good because I would not be able to do reading vlogs for half the books if I remember everything that I saw on Instagram. And that would mean I would be spoiled to a lot of things and I couldn't film reading vlogs if I'm already spoiled to books. Why am I doing a reading vlog for a book I already know half the things about? Thank god my memory sucks sometimes. What was I saying? Yeah, so I didn't really want to get this book but the quotes that people were posting, I just remember wow. So I got it. People on Instagram, bookstagrammers, can be very convincing. So I got this and I end up getting this one too. I have no idea why but I just I mean, package deal, I guess. Even though I did not get this as a package deal. The final book in this package is Funny You Should Ask. This is Funny You Should Ask by Elissa Sussman. I feel like I've seen this cover around a lot, but I never was interested in it until the day I was in the bookstore and I saw this book. I read the synopsis and I found out this was a, a divorce. Book. Something about second chance romance just tugs at me. There's another book that I'm looking forward to reading and it's also a second chance romance which is why I'm going to bring it up while I'm holding this second chance book. It's Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan and it's a book that's not yet released. It's going to come out on November 15th but I've been eyeing this book the moment I found out it existed that's going to exist. Can't wait to read that when it comes out. The Before I Let Go is also about a divorced couple. What is with me in divorce? I don't know why I just included that, but second chance romance and second chance romance. Now we're going to move on to the last package and I can't believe I bought these two books. Another thing that I surprised myself by buying. The next two books I'm going to show you are also part of a series. It's a standalone series and I already read one of the books. I'm going to take both of them out and we'll go from there. I bought the Miles High Club. Two books in the Miles High Club. 
I read The Takeover by T.L. Swan, I think a year ago or two years ago. I love this book so much. I gave it a five stars the moment I read it. They're both on Kindle Unlimited, which is why I'm so shocked that I actually bought these two. I saw the price for this book. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get it because it's not that bad. But I can't get this and not get this because this is the only one that I actually read in the series and I loved it. So how can I get this? A book that I haven't read without getting this one. I'm not going to talk about this book because I don't know what it's about other than that the character in this one is the brother to Tristan. Tristan is the male character for this book. I cried, I laughed, and I thoroughly, thoroughly mm -hmm. enjoy this book. A single mom romance. This book, oh my gosh. And it was hot too. There was emotional factor, but there was spicy factor. And I laughed. I guess this means like I should go and reread it because I have the physical copy book now. This one I have no idea what you are about. I will get to know you, Tristan's bro. What's your name? There's no name. We don't get his name in the synopsis. Jameson. Jameson. We're gonna call him James. So this is about James and this is about Tristan. Oh, I should get to know the girl's name too. What's her name? Emily and Jameson. And the takeover is about Tristan and Claire and her boys. These two books I know for sure are dual POV. That's it for this video. I just wish that the covers were different, but what can I do? At least they're not shirtless, so just two guys in suits. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Here's another unboxing book haul for you because I can't stop buying books and you like these videos way too much. It's a win-win. Instead of making empty promises at the end of this video, instead of saying that I won't buy books, I'll only buy books when I know it's on sale. So that's, that's it. I'm changing it. I'm not going to say I'm not going to buy books anymore. Until they're on sale. I'll buy it. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's video. If you're interested in the bookends like these ones, I will have it linked down below. You can also use the code KREADS10 for 10% off your purchase. You can also let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books, if you like any of these books, or if these books are also on your TBR, if I inspired you to buy more books. That is it. Again, thank you so much for watching this and I will see you in my next video. Bye.